Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have some great news for Samsung Galaxy Smartphone. Samsung has released a brand new application known as the Camera Assistant application, which is this one right here. This is going to be part of the Good Luck family. It actually brings a whole bunch of features to your camera application. So basically, this is connected to your camera application and it allows you to further enhance and make your camera app even more powerful. So let's dive in and see exactly what this is all about. We do have eight new features as you can see so we'll look at these now if you do want to download this application all you want to do is you want to click the link down below once you click the link you're going to be at my website you want to scroll down just a little bit you can see download camera assistant app you scroll down oops you scroll down a little bit under download it's going to be right here next to the link you click the link it'll take you to the galaxy store from where you can download the camera assistant application and then you're going to see that icon after the install is complete. Now, initially, you may not see this inside the Good Luck application. So I haven't seen it pop up in here just yet, but no big deal. You're going to see it as a standalone application after you download this via the link. All right, so let's go and see exactly what's going on here. So on the top, we have this brand new Auto HDR feature. If you enable this feature, what's going to happen is your camera is going to capture more details in the bright and dark areas of your pictures and videos. And basically, it's just going to make it look much better. Now, understand that whatever modification you make here in the camera assistant application is going to apply when you launch your camera application and take a photo, just so you know. OK, so they're both connected to each other. Now, another thing that we have here is the soften pictures option. If you enable this, it is going to smooth out any sharp edges and textures in the photo mode when you take a photo. So you may or may not want that. I would actually disable this one. I would like to have more natural results. All right, so let's test this out. Soften pictures option. It is disabled. Let's take a quick photo. I'm going to go to my camera application, take a photo for this guy right here. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to say soften pictures. Now I'm going to go back over to the camera, take that photo again. Now I'm going to launch the photo. Let me go to the first photo that I took. I'm going to zoom in. Look at the edges. Okay, they're a little rough, which is normal. Now I'm going to swipe over to the other photo that I took after I softened the edges. Look at this. The edges are now softer. A little bit less detail, but they're certainly softer. Let's look at that one more time. You can see the difference as you can see. Let me zoom in. Okay, so if you want to soften your pictures up, use the soften pictures option. All right, so let's talk about the auto lens switching, which is actually an amazing feature. Now, what you want to do is you want to actually disable this to get the benefit. By default, it's always enabled. And here's what happens. And I'm going to show you some picture samples to define the difference. But if it is enabled, and if you go to your camera application, and if you zoom in 10 times, what it does is instead of using the optical zoom, it is using cropping, which reduces the image quality. Now, when you disable this and go back and when you tap on the 10 times zoom, it is going to be using the optical zoom for the best quality. So here's going to be the difference in image quality. So I took two photos here. Uh, here's one. And here's another one, okay? There are two of them right here. This is the cropped zoom. This is the actual zoom. You can see this is much more clear. Maybe a little bit hard to pick up through the video, but I think you should be able to see what I'm talking about. This is sharper and cleaner. And when you zoom in, it retains more detail. Uh, this one already pre-cropped. So as you zoom, zoom in, uh, by pinching in, it loses some of that detail, okay? but this one will not. Look at that. Much, much cleaner. So that's a fantastic little feature right here. To get the benefit, disable it. Let's talk about video recording in photo mode. Now, normally this option was enabled by default on the camera application. Now you can disable it. So let me show you what the default setting is. If you enable this, which is the default for all camera applications, when you launch your camera, if you're in the photo, not in portrait, not in uh, video, but in the photo, normally you can take photos. Okay, so as you can see, I just clicked it. It's taking a nighttime photo, 
because it's dark in the back. Uh, but if you want to actually start to record a video right when in the photo mode, you just press and hold this and it starts to record a video until you let it go. All right. So with this option, you can disable that, which is great. It's just additional customization. Now, when I go to my camera and if I press and hold, it is not going to uh, activate the video recording mode by default. You would have to swipe over uh, one second here. You would have to swipe over here to start recording a video. OK, so an option for you to actually use. Now, one more feature that we have here is number of pictures after the timer. So let's uh, do three pictures. Let me show you exactly what it means. So if you were to enable your timer, let's go to photo and let's enable the timer. Let's do two seconds. Normally when you tap this, it does a countdown for two seconds and then it takes a photo. But when you have this option set to three or more, at the end of the countdown, it takes multiple photos. So let's see, press. One, all right. Okay, so you can see it took one photo, then it's taking another photo, and now it's going to take even one more photo. That's going to be the third photo. All right, fantastic. So it took three photos. Again, if the phone was not lying flat on the table like this, it would take those photos instantaneously. Let me quickly show you an example. Now let me demonstrate the same thing in this format here. So I'm going to press the shutter button. We're going to get that two second timer. Look at this. One, two, three. Okay, so that was three photos and you get a graphic uh, on the top center. Again, it's going to be based on what you pick right here. Okay, three, five, seven, whatever you need. All right, so going back to the camera assistant, we also have this brand new faster shutter option. So it's not going to be uh, easy to show it you this way. So let me show it to you in another way. All right, so let me demonstrate the faster shutter option. So right now it is disabled. I'm going to go to my camera. I'm going to take a bunch of photos in quick succession. So let's uh, tap it fast, that shutter button. Okay, so you can see it's pretty fast, but not as fast as some other phones. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to enable the faster shutter option. Let me just exit the camera application and relaunch it. Now, let's see how fast it has become. Okay, so that's certainly much faster, and that's a great option right there. Now, even though the shutter speed is going to increase, it is going to slightly decrease the picture quality just so you know. In fact, so slight, nobody's going to care. All right, so next up, we have the camera timeout feature. So basically, if you don't use the camera for one minute, it just exits the camera, okay? That might save you battery, believe it or not. So if you have it at five minutes, the camera, if I just stay here, it's going to remain active for five minutes. But if you don't do anything with the camera, why is it active? So it's going to just time out, all right? So that's going to save you some battery. There we go. I would just leave this at one minute. Now, the final feature here, when you connect your phone to an HDMI display, a high-definition TV or a monitor, if you don't want to see all these options appear on the actual monitor, you can enable this option, and you're simply going to get a clean preview with no buttons, nothing over here is going to show up on the screen. It's going to show up on the phone, but not on the screen. On the screen, all you're going to see is a clean viewfinder. So again, these are initial features. They'll be adding even more features. So this is just another way to even further customize your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Now, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?